And welcome back to another round of Dead by Daylight. Ash wants to know what now? We'll tell you what now. We're running the Wraith, and we're running our all-seeing build with him. We're playing with Hex Ruin, Hex Undying. Uh, those are going to be our generator slowdown perks, maybe, if the totems can actually stand up for a little while. We'll see if that happens. Barbecue and Chili will give us some more readings, as well as some sweet blood point bonuses whenever we hook somebody, and we need it as we're trying to prestige some people and are desperately in need of blood points. Make your choice. Anytime someone gets rescued and we're 32 meters away, the rescuer will have the exposed status applied to them for 60 seconds. How are we going to find them? Well, we're running all-seeing blood, which means whenever we're cloaked, we'll see survivors that are close to us, and the coxcomb clapper means our wailing bell will be completely silent. Uh, we're using a black ward because eh, we don't have a ton of those coxcomb clappers left. Uh, this has been a pretty successful build for us. Is it going to continue to be? That we're going to find out in just a second. Okay, we're on the family residence. Yohoko State. And uh, hey, there's one of our totems. I'm sure will never be discovered. Our other totems in the killer shack. Oh. Hey, Ash. Oh. Oh. We give a hit to uh, Ash, and then we're going to come back. We saw that the Kate was there as well. Uh, quick and quiet on the Kate. Uh, you kind of walked right into us there. All right, whoever was there is now gone. Oh, and that Kate is... That Kate booked it a little ways. A bill? Uh, Bill, we're going to pretend we didn't see you, Bill. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, how did... Well, we kind of potatoed that. We blocked the pallet. That was good. And Kate, you need to get off that. Well, Kate, here's the deal. You broke my totem. Ordinarily, I would not be over here rehooking you, but you know what? You broke my totem after getting unhooked. I, even you should have known that was a bad idea. That's a very bad idea. All right, let's see if we can figure out where everybody else is at. Oh, we already know. Where are you going, Ash? Ash, don't run me around the hook, Ash. Ash, you're going to run me around the hook. That's just bad news for the poor Bill over here. Speaking of bills, let's get the other one. I'm gonna ask if basement was over here, but I don't think it is. Or if it was, we didn't see it. 
We're just gonna lug Bill over here. Usually basement was over there. Oh, dead hard by, uh, no. Dead hard by the ash, but we recovered in time. Make your choice over there. And we are headed right back. That was just terrible swing on our part. <laughs> Bill, where are you? Bill, I could hear you over here. Kate, you are gonna be dead. Where'd the bill go? Did you get in one of these lockers, Bill? I feel like the bill jumped in one of those lockers, but... Oh, you guys are chugging away up here, huh? That's the wrong side of the pallet, Bill. Hey, Ash, are you really going to work on that gen? Get away from that gen, Ash. Come here, Bill. All right, Ash is probably going to finish that gen, but... <laughs> oh, this is not really ideal. I didn't really want you coming in here, Ash. Now you know stuff, Ash. You know where my other totem's at. All right. They're going to break my totem? Why do I feel like there are no hooks on that side of the map? Ash. Yeah, yeah, that time I didn't potato swing. I see you, buddy. I see you. Oh God, which bill is which? 
Which bill is which? Oh boy. We are wasting a lot of time. Not there, though. I wonder if they don't realize... Does he not realize that's a lit totem? I don't know. Alright, one of the bills is self-caring there. Oh God, that's, well, there's, again, we blocked the pallet and then screwed up and still didn't get the hit. That's, that's just terrible. But, we keep getting hung up on the rock here. Well, the bright side, other bill is one hit down again, since apparently all we're capable of doing is one hit. God, can we stop swinging and missing? All right, Bill. I will say, make your choice is coming huge in this match, but man, it feels like... Feels like we have had so many opportunities, yep. had more opportunities to get hits and have just potatoed them. We've been very good at blocking pallets, but which way are you going there, Bill? Eventually, I'm just going to bloodlust you around this pallet. You do know that, right? Oh, God, we got hung up on the rock. Oh, my God. This is not exactly what I would call good gameplay here. God darn it. Bill, I'm getting tired of everybody in this game making me look like a literal rank amateur. Oh my god. Meanwhile, Ash is just going to go do a generator. Finally. Man, oh man, did that take a long time, Bill. Hello, Ash. All right. I, I don't know how to feel about this round. I feel like I did not play particularly great. Make your choice was huge, but boy, we had some, we just had some not so, not so great moments and all that. There's just some some of our play around the pallets was kind of sloppy. 
some of our play around the pallets was kind of sloppy and some of our just some of our uh, our swings <laughs> just like I said we we blocked pallets and then potato swinged and allowed them to still get through and stun us not once but twice so uh, kind of a kind of a little embarrassing on that end to be able to do such a good maneuver and then just such a terrible maneuver right on the heels of it. But then again, that's kind of what we're all about now, isn't it? Uh, uh, who was the rank one? Out of curiosity, uh, I have a feeling the other three were playing together, but the rank one was the yeah, the rank one was the Ash, and and he was the one that we you know. We probably had more trouble with him during the course of the match than we did the Bills or the... God, I've already forgotten who it was. A, uh, a Kate, I guess it was. Um, but, yeah, the, the Bills, neither one of one, neither one of them were uh, running unbreakable, which helped because we left both of them on the ground at, at various points. One point, we couldn't tell which Bill was which, and we were trying to play around the possibility of decisive. Um, I can't remember. I, I guess we didn't see anybody with a with a uh, an obsession perk, right? Uh, no obsession perks in this game. So uh, I mean, we we don't tunnel. We do our best to not tunnel. We do our best to not tunnel in the course of the game. So honestly, that's one of those things we're not really going to pay a lot of attention to who has decisive and who doesn't. Uh, or if anyone possibly does, we just always assume someone's running decisive, even apparently when no one is running decisive. But uh, a couple times we left the bill on the ground. One time we did to go back after the Kate, who had been recently unhooked, and the fact that she was not running decisive, well, that pretty much that pretty much explains why she did that. Uh, she had seen the lit totem. Unfortunately for her, it was only one of our totems. The other one was in the killer shack, and I'm not really sure why somebody didn't get to it sooner. Again, uh, maybe, maybe uh, you know, Ash was in the vicinity and unhooked and chose not to get it. He jumped on generators. Uh, sometimes the totems, you know, even in certain lights when you see them in the wide open like that, maybe... Maybe the Ash didn't think that was a lit totem. Maybe he didn't realize it was a lit totem. I can't believe he didn't see it. And them not getting to the second totem and getting rid of my ruin when they had a chance probably hurt him badly in that match. And maybe maybe that's that's the thing that ended up carrying us there. Uh, we said that the Ash was probably a solo player, so he was not on comms, I'm guessing, with the Bills. Eventually, one of the Bills worked their way over to that totem and broke it. But they had opportunities beforehand. They didn't, and that's probably what ended up helping to carry us to the win. That and a lot of lot of value out of Make Your Choice. We had a ton of one-shot downs in that match, getting great value out of that perk. Anyway, hope you enjoyed w watching the match. Please consider hitting the like and subscribe button while you're here. It would help us a great deal as we grow the channel with the YouTube algorithm. And you can follow us on Twitch at the link below at Geriatric Gaming 11 and get notified whenever we go live. New videos here on YouTube on a daily basis. Until the next time, thanks again so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you in the next Dead by Daylight.